Suppose you go outside in your fiber-filled jacket on a windless but very cold day. The thickness of the jacket is 2.5 centimeters and it covers 1.1 square meters of your body. The purpose of your fiber of fiber or down-filled jackets is to trap a layer of air and it's really the air layer that provides the insulation. If your skin temperature is 34 degrees Celsius while the air temperature is negative 20 degrees Celsius, at what rate is heat being conducted through the jacket and away from your body. So let's look at this keyword right here, conducted. So we'll be using the conduction equation which is K times the area times L and times that by delta T. So we have our jacket here and inside there's a bunch of feathers and fluff or whatever that traps air, they say, that provides insulation. So in here is our skin, which is 34 degrees Celsius, and outside is negative 20 degrees Celsius. So the heat is going to leave our body and transfer outside where there's less heat or energy. So they tell us that the area is 1.1 square meters. They tell us L, here is L, is 2.5 centimeters. Which is 0 0.025 meters. And now the change in temperature is 34 degrees Celsius minus a negative 20 degrees Celsius, which gives us a delta T of 54 degrees Celsius or 54 Kelvin. So now all we have to do is plug in our values to get our answer. So K, when we look it up, there's, um, you might get a little confused when you look at these. If you can either look in your book or the constants page under the resources tab, there are two. There's one that says fur or down feathers, which you might be tempted to use, but for that one, they give us a range. I think it's like 0 0.2 to 0 0.6 or, or 0 0.02 to 0 0.06 or something like that, which isn't super helpful. But in the question here, they say it's really the air layer that is used as insulation. So let's use the K value. I forget what they call it. I think it was like trapped air or air or something like that which is 0 0.026. So using that K value, we have 0 0.0026 times the area of 1.1 square meters divided by 0 0.025 meters. Multiply that by the change in temperature of 54 Kelvin. That gives us a Q delta T of 61.776 watts or 62 watts.